Yes. I've just been watching an interview. You know, we called the contradiction Frotch and that fucking Coogan. And you know, called the contradiction Frotch. He was having a little snidey dig at Joshua, wasn't he? He was having a little snidey dig at Joshua, you know, because the Sun newspaper, they wrote an article, you know, about their top 10 best British pound for pound boxers of the last 30 years. And Carl Frotch wasn't in it. And Joshua was number 10. So he's having a little dig at him. Let's have a look at these. Number one was Carl Zaghi. Number two was Lennox Lewis. Then Tyson Fury. Then David Hay. Then Ricky Hatton. Chris Eubanks Sr. Nassim Hamid. Duke McKenzie. Nigel Benn. And at number 10 was Joshua. <laughs> so Carl Frotch was fucking hating on Joshua. You know, because Carl Frotch didn't make the list. You know, he's really bitter. You know, saying he lost to Mikel Kessler because of volcanic ash. But you know, when Carl Frotch was slagging off Joshua, Joshua heard about it and he got a bit angry and he started sending Carl Frotch a load of WhatsApp messages, you know, slagging him off. But Carl Frotch was asleep at the time. So when Carl Frotch woke up, He's seen a load of deleted WhatsApp messages, you know, from Joshua. So Joshua puts it out again, didn't he? You know, like he did against Ruiz. You know, when he was running around a fucking ring like that. You know, deleting the messages that he sent to call the contradiction frotch. So he was having a little dig at Joshua saying, he shouldn't be in that list. He got beat up by a little fat Mexican. You know, which is true, in it, really? And I agree with Carl Frotch. I don't think Joshua should be in that list at all. You know, let's have a look at the list anyway. Number one, Carl Zaghi. Number two, Lennox Lewis. But you know what? I think any of those two could be number one, you know. You know, Lennox Lewis was like the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. You know, he's he got beat a couple of times, but he avenged those losses. You know, to Hasim Rachman and Oliver McCall. So I think Lennox Lewis definitely deserves to be number one or number two. Kyle Zaghi, he was quite good. Lennox Lewis was good. Tyson Fury, you know, he beat Klitschko, didn't he? But some people say Klitschko was in his 40s and he was over the hill. Who else did he beat? Fucking Deontay Wilder. Some people would say Deontay, he only had a big right hand and... That's all he had. He didn't have any kind of boxing IQ. He only had the power. These aren't my words. You know, this is what people say, don't they? I rate the Gypsy King. I like him. So, yeah, I think he should be in the list. Yeah, what do you think of that little fancy video, you know, of Mike Tyson hitting the pads? People are getting all excited, aren't they? You know, thinking Mike Tyson can come back and... You know, like win a world heavyweight title. You know, he can't, can he really? He's, you know, that looks good and that, and that looks all nice and fancy. But, you know, he's fucking been abusing his body, you know, for 20 years. So he's not going to do it, man. You know, it's just wishful thinking. I'm a big fan of Tyson, but he's not going to do it, is he? Mike Tyson lost to Danny Williams about 20 years ago. You know, and Danny Williams was just a British champion, money. You know, Mike Tyson, you know, he can't fucking deal with him. Yeah, that fight pissed me off, you know. You know, seeing Tyson getting beat up by fucking Danny Williams. You know, a guy who lost to Orly Harrison. Yeah, that fucking pissed me off, man, seeing that. You know what I mean? And that was like 20 years ago. And, you know, since that 20 years has gone by, you know, Mike Tyson's just been smoking weed, on not he? He's got a little weed farm, you know, where he grows weed and sells it. So he's been puffing away, you know, on the weed. So does Mike Tyson beat Tyson Fury to become world champion? He doesn't, does he? You know, his lungs are going to burn out, you know, chasing after Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is just going to move around. You know, so Joshua, you know, like he did against Ruiz. So 
you know, it's nice wishful thinking and it, it sounds good, you know, Mike Tyson coming back at the age of 53 and winning a world title. But pff, I don't think it happens. Don't forget, he says he hasn't been training at all for years and years. You know, he said it lots of times. He's lost that desire to train and fight. So I don't think he's got it, man. I don't think he's got it. You know, seeing him getting beat up by Danny Williams. I didn't like that at all, man. You know, seeing a boxing legend go out like that against Danny Williams. You know, that's why I wouldn't want to see Mayweather against Khabib, you know, in the octagon. You know, it'd be a bit like a car crash, you know, like I don't want to see it, but I can't help but watch. You know, seeing Mayweather getting fucked up by Khabib in the octagon. You know, and it's the same with Mike Tyson, you know, if he tries to come back and fucking get in there with a world champion. You know, it's not going to end well, is it? David Hay. Uh, David A. You know, he lost a bellow, didn't he? But that was like an old David A. Injured and... So, you know, these lists, these pound-for-pound pound lists, they don't really mean anything at all, do they, really? You know, Ricky Hatton, he's number five, isn't he? Ricky Hatton beat Castillo. Probably better than Mayweather did. You know, some people saying that Mayweather was lucky to win that and he didn't deserve to win it. You know, so Ricky Hatton beat fucking Castillo better than Mayweather did. But Mayweather made Ricky Hatton headbutt the corner of the ring. So, do you know what I mean? Just because Ricky Hatton beat that Castillo better than Mayweather doesn't mean he's better than Mayweather, does it? So these pound for pound lists, they're a bit dodgy. Yeah, Ricky Hatton said the other day that he would have beat the Skype wanker, you know, in his prime. You know, that made the news. I don't know why that's making the news. That's how you know there's nothing going on in boxing right now. You know, and that's making the news. It's how long's Ricky Hatton been retired now? You know, and the fucking Skype wank, he's finished as well, isn't it? So, you know, for that to make the news, it's, it's old news, isn't it? It's fucking old news, man. But yeah, I don't know who would have won that in their primes. But you know, if Ricky Hatton's on that list, that number five, I think the Sky Wanker should be on there somewhere, you know, because he did win a few world titles, didn't he? He beat a few names, you know, like Maidana, but, you know, because the Sky Wanker kept getting knocked out, I think it damaged his reputation. So people don't put him on the list. They fuck him off, you know, because he kept getting knocked out. Number six, Chris Eubank Sr., you know, why isn't Steve Collins on the list? He beat Eubank Sr. and Nigel Benn, who's number nine. So, you know, the fucking idiot who wrote this, you know, he's a bit fucking daft, isn't he? Nassim Hamed didn't really beat anybody, did he? Tom Johnson. Yeah, he beat Kevin Kelly as well, didn't he? But some people are saying that Kevin Kelly was over the hill. But people always say that, you know, anytime someone beats someone else, they say, oh, he was over the hill, you know, he was old, he was past his best. You know, that's what they did with Tyson Fury, didn't they, when he beat Wilder. People having to go out fucking Wilder. You know, people saying, oh, Wilder was nothing, you know, this and that. So people always say that. But yeah, Kevin Kelly. I'm a fan of Nassim Ahmed, but I don't know if he should be on the list. I really think Carl Frost should be on there if Nassim Ahmed's on there. Yeah, you know Mikel Kessler, yeah? He's got a sister who's a stripper. Yeah, that's his sister. She's a stripper in Denmark. What do you think of her? There's a bit of a transsexual vibe there, isn't there? She's not all that. You know, Mikel Kessler, he said that he's ashamed of her. You know, because she's a stripper and he's saying that she's bringing shame, you know, on his family's name. You know, because he was like a respectable fucking world champion boxer so he's saying that he's uh, ashamed of her but you know because it's his sister he's saying that he has to stick by her side I'm surprised Carl Frosch didn't bring that up you know when he was getting ready to fight Mikel Kessler you know he's a bit petty 
I'm surprised he didn't bring it up. You know that Mikel Kessler's sister's a stripper. He's a bit daft like that, isn't he, Frotch? Yeah, I don't like that fake look, man. You know, fake tits and fucking... All that. It's no good, man. Yeah, she ain't all that. I think Mikel Kessler looks better than her, to be honest. But yeah, just a little shit video today, you know. I might do another one tomorrow, you know, talking about something else. The black quitter having to go at that fucking fowler, you know, trying to create beef. Yeah, who do you think would win out of those two in a fight? You know, Fowler and the Black Quitter. It's probably Fowler, isn't it? You know, they're both shit. You know, those two, they both had, you know, big promoters. So they both had a chance, you know, to go far in boxing. But they haven't. You know, the Black Quitter, he fucking quit, didn't he? And he won that little fake WBC title belt. You know, and Fowler. He's just like a pound shop car frotch, isn't he? He's a pound shot Carl Frotch. He got beat by that Fitzgerald, you know, he's fucking, he's always banging on about that CBD shit. So I don't like any of those two. You know, if they boxed each other, I'd want them both to get fucking beat. You know, like that. I'd want them both to lose, man. Who do you think's got the nicest girlfriend out of those two? It's probably Fowler, isn't it? Fowler's probably outdone the black quitter, you know, sex-wise. He's outdone him sex-wise, Fowler. Yeah, I don't know how Fowler got that woman, you know. She's out of his league, isn't she? She's probably mentally ill. Or Fowler probably told her, you know, that Robbie Fowler's his uncle. So she probably got with him, you know, to try and get to Robbie Fowler. Because she's out of Fowler's league, man. She's with him to try and get to Robbie Fowler, not Anthony Fowler. You know, he's on a lower level than he, Fowler, Anthony Fowler. So he's using his uncle's name, you know, for sexual reasons. But Robbie Fowler doesn't give a toss about Anthony Fowler. When have you ever seen Robbie Fowler at an Anthony Fowler boxing match? I've never seen Robbie Fowler at an Anthony Fowler boxing match. You know, Robbie Fowler doesn't give a toss about Anthony Fowler, does he? You know, when Anthony Fowler got beat up by Fitzgerald, Robbie Fowler didn't give a toss, did he? He didn't give a fucking toss, Robbie Fowler. So he's using his uncle's name, in he? But yeah, he's doing better sexually, you know, than the Black Quitter. I think the Black Quitter hires escorts, you know, like her, to go to boxing events, you know, to try and show off because all these women who you see him with, they're all fucking immigrants. You know, remember the Turkish asylum seeker? Remember her? And this fucking woman here, she's Romanian. So I think he just hires these women, you know, as escorts, you know, to try and show off at boxing events. Because they come and go as well. It's always a different woman every week. And they're always immigrants. You know, like the Turkish asylum seeker. Yeah, he's paying them, isn't he? The black quitter. He's paying these fucking immigrants to show them off, you know, at boxing events. To try and make out like he's doing well sexually. And fucking Fowler's girlfriend's with him to try and get to Robbie Fowler. Yeah, there's a little article, you know, about boxers as women. Yeah, Mayweather. You know, Mayweather as a woman, that actually looks a bit like his daughter, don't it? You know, his daughter who went around trying to stab somebody. You know, that's what fucking Mayweather looks like as a woman, his own daughter. She looks quite nice, don't she, Mayweather's daughter? She needs to watch out with all that stabbing shit. Like I've said before, you know, if she gets locked up, and she gets put in a prison with a lot of fat, ugly lesbians. She'll be fucked. She'll be a prime target for those fat, ugly lesbians. So she needs to fuck all that stabbing shit off.
and just enjoy your dad's money. Manny Pacquiao, yeah, that's that looks like a ladyboy, don't it? You know, one of those ladyboys from Thailand. You know, if I seen that, I won't, I won't think it's a woman at all. That's that's just like a ladyboy, isn't it? Yeah, that looks a bit weird. I think the nose will put me off. You know, if a woman had a nose like that, I think I'd be a bit put off by it. So yeah, I don't like that one. Ricky Hatton, I don't know what the fuck that is. That looks fucking horrible. Cow Zaggy, that does look a bit like a tranny, don't it? Or does he? I don't know. You know, if I was in a club getting drunk like Lee Frotch, and that came up to me, I don't know, that could pass as a woman, you know. I think that might pass as a woman. It's hard to say these days, isn't it? That's why you have to watch out, man. You don't know who's who. That could pass as a woman, couldn't it? He was a good boxer, wasn't he? Carl Zaggy. Carl Frotch hates him, don't he? Carl Frotch hates Carl Zaggy. He would have beat Carl Frotch, wouldn't he? Carl Zaggy. Carl Frotch is hating him, you know, because he didn't make the list. And Carl Zaggy's number one. So he's hating again, and he caught Frotch. The Skype wanker. Yeah, that looks a bit weird, don't it? That's a bit of a weird one. The Skype wanker as a woman. Yeah, there was a story in the paper a while back, you know, about Amir Khan trying it on with a transsexual on Instagram. You know, trying to slide into the Chinese DMs. I'm trying it on with a tranny, but, you know, the tranny, you might have done it just for publicity. Because why would you tell the papers about it? Do you know what I mean? So it's probably just a fucking publicity stunt, you know, from the tranny. But then Amir Khan was hanging around with that transsexual Caitlyn Jenner, wasn't he? He was becoming little fake mates with the tranny, wasn't he? That fucking Caitlyn Jenner. So there's definitely a freaky side to the Skype wanker, isn't there? You know, hanging around with transsexuals and fucking wanking on Skype and all that. There's definitely a freaky vibe in there. Tyson Fury. Yeah, he looks alright as a woman as well. He looks a bit manly, you know, you can tell it's a bit manly, you know, it's got a big jaw on it. You can tell by the jaw it's a man. Dosser. Yeah, the Dosser looks alright as a woman, don't you? The Dosser. Yeah, some people are saying that he should take step aside money. You know, so Tyson Fury can fight Joshua. Yeah, he should, shouldn't he, really? You know, he's just going to get beat up again anyway. So he may as well step aside and let Tyson fight Joshua, you know, and avoid another beating and get free money given to him to avoid a beating. You know, he may as well let Tyson Fury fight Joshua. Yeah, Joshua looks all right as a woman as well, don't he? You never see him with a woman, do you? It's probably hard for him to trust women, you know, because there's a load of fucking gold diggers out there. It's probably hard for him to fuck a woman, you know, she might record it and try and fucking sell the sex tape, you know, to the newspapers. Joshua. I wonder what those messages were, you know, that he sent to Carl Frotch, you know, before he deleted them. That'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it, you know, to read those messages. You know, before Joshua deleted them and fucking posse it out. Yeah, he posse it out, didn't he? I really like the look of Carl Frotch as a woman, you know. Seriously, that's definitely the best one. You know, if I seen that woman in the streets, you know, I would want to fuck her. That's really my type. So I think Carl Frotch looks the best, you know, out of all the boxers as a woman. 
But yeah, let me know in the comments which boxer you think looks the best as a woman and whether Joshua posted out, you know, deleting the WhatsApp messages he sent to Carl Froch and whether or not Mike Tyson will come back and become a world heavyweight champion. Let me know in the comments, yeah. Yeah, thanks for that.